Hello. <laughs> oh, hi. How are you? Good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Length and strength. We're going to start warming up. So let's start moving those arms, tapping out those feet. We have a two minute warm up here just to get moving. And then we'll pick up. We're working with one weight. I did this on Wednesday in the sculpt and stretch work with one weight. We'll do some different moves. Go ahead and take those arms forward all the way up and around. So 10 minutes strength with our weight, 10 minutes core, 10 minutes stretch. Go ahead and take it into this cross punch, rotate the spine. Welcome, welcome everybody coming in. Our afternoon, evening, little pick me up here. <laughs> side to side, reach up and over. Getting our movements, our core work and our stretch. Here we go, three, two, and a one. Let's reach and pull, take a heel in. And in a moment here, we will grab our one weight, maybe a little heavier, because we're just working with the one. We're gonna get into the legs and triceps. Here we go, three, two, and a one. Shake it out. All right, grab that one weight. Any other movement you need there? And I'm gonna go extra, even extra heavier than, I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna grab a 10 pound. Usually I would go with an eight. So we'll see how this goes here. The single weight. All right, here we go. So our first move, plie position with an overhead press. So bring that weight right in front of your heart here. Toes out, heels in. We're just gonna take it down and up. And then option to add this overhead press. So we go down into the plie and then reach up. So if you're just joining, we're just working with one weight. Welcome Valerie from Arizona. Welcome Kelly, Ali, Vanessa. Hey Jan, hey Valerie, uh, Valerie M. Keep it here, three. Just kidding, we have 10 seconds, 10 more seconds. Let's see how many we can get in. Beautiful, okay, into the booty and the legs a little more here next, three, two, one. So take the feet in, just about hips width apart. We're gonna bring the weight into the left foot, lift the right heel. Toes can stay on the floor or we lift the toes. Hold here or we pulse. Pulse, so a single leg pulse. We can have that foot completely off the floor, the toes down, maybe even the ball, the foot down. Keep that heel lifted. Reach the booty back. You got it. Whew. Keep it here. 15 more seconds. So we're going a little longer this round and then we'll cut the time in half and do these a little quicker. But this is the long one. Here we go. Three, two, and a one. All right, take that right knee into the chest. Overhead tricep right here. I'm gonna give you another option. Keep those elbows hugging in. If you wanna take it a little lower, knee into the chest and we can kick back single side. And we'll do the other side next time or maybe both feet on the floor and kick back. Otherwise we're working our balance, triceps. Beautiful. Helps to keep that gaze, that eye, the eyes forward, eye level on one spot. Does help the balance. You got it, here we go, three, two, and a one. We are taking it over to the other side, pulse. So we sink a little into the squat, left heel lifts, maybe the toes lift, weight is in front of the heart. We can pulse right here. Maybe keep those toes a little down or lift. Yeah, sinking back into the standing heel. So our weight is into that back heel or bottom heel. There we go, y'all are looking great. Hi, Jan. Nice, Amy, yes, Dana. Woo, keep it there, five. Four, three, two, 
and a one. We take the knee into the chest, overhead tricep once again, or that other side for working lower. Feel free to lower those toes to the floor at any time, but keep hugging the knee into the chest. Here's our core work along with the triceps. Welcome, Teresa. Welcome to the party. I'm gonna turn on a little music here. Hey, Vanessa, yeah, we're just working with one weight, overhead tricep, oops, there we go. Another few seconds here, three, two, and a one. All right, let's rest. Let's see where we're at here. All right, we're starting over. We're cutting the time in half. So it's gonna go a little quicker this time. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Here's our plie with our overhead press. Three, two, and a one. Toes out, heels in. Here we go, down and press up. A few more seconds here and then we take it into that single leg pulse. Here we go, three, two, and a one. Bring those feet in a little closer. Wait until the left foot, lift the right heel. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep reaching the booty back. Yes, Pam. Go Kelly. Three, two, one. Find our balance, overhead tricep right here. Squeeze elbows in. Try not to let them fall out to the side. Yes, friends, keep it strong. Couple more minutes left. Three, two, and a one. Release, I keep forgetting what goes next. Oh yeah, other side, pulse. Other side, pulse. Lift that heel or the foot, pulse. You got it, three, two, one. Come into that balance overhead tricep right here. We're gonna go through one more time, all the same moves. Squeeze those elbows in here. Yes, friends, three, two. Go into our plie in one, here we go. Toes out, heels in, down, overhead press. Ooh, I see some yellow, some green on the my zone. One more time through. Yes, friends, three, two, one. Single leg pulse, last time here. Maybe lift those toes. Ooh, oh, Emmett loves this song right now. Here we go, three, two, and a one. Take that knee in, overhead tricep right here. Yes, welcome Linda. Coming in just in time. One more minute here, three. Two and a one. Other, other side, squat, pulse right here. Maybe lift those toes. Should be feeling this one. Last minute. Keep it here. Five, four, ooh, a little yellow. I'm coming up into three, two. 
One, bring that knee into the chest, overhead press or overhead tricep right here. Ooh, yes. Go, Kathleen. Nice, Valerie. Keep it going. Three, two, and a one. Release that weight. Yes. Amazing job. Shake out the wrists a little. Get a sip of water if you need it. We're going to come back to our plie for a little core work. So when you're ready, join me here. Toes out, heels in. Hands to the head, elbows wide. We're gonna tilt to the right, center, and then rotate to the right, center. Just stay on this right side. Tilt, center, rotate, center. As we do so, keeping elbows wide. Yes, a few more here. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Dana. <laughs> I didn't share it. I've been jamming out. Sorry, y'all. Thank you. Here we go. All right, right. Okay, so just to go last one more here. Oh, it's better. Elbows stay wide. Yes. Hamstrings here as well. Three. Okay, other side, sorry. Tilt to the left and twist, center, left, center, twist, center. Keep it here. Sorry about the music, the sound. <laughs> when I shared the music, it, it turned the volume way up. A few more here. Two. Nice, elbows nice and wide. And a one, let's do this one more time. Toes face forward, feet out a little bit. Hands stay as they are. Nice flat back forward and up, forward. Nice flat back, belly in. Teaching a class, Bubba. Let's do three. Hey, go get your water. Or it's, there's water in the kitchen, two. And a one, release, bring those feet together. Here we go. Inchworm, come to the back of the mat here, walking the hands down and to a plank position, maybe a push up, and then back up. We'll do this a few times and then we'll make our way into mountain climbers. You could stay standing and do the standing mountain climbers, but inchworming it out here as our transition to get down to the floor. All right, next time we come down, hold that plank. Feel free to lower the knees down. Slow mountain climbers right here. And then we'll pick it up, but let's keep it slow. Or we're standing, reach and pull. Reach and pull. You got it. Yes, perfect, Dan. Keep it there. We're gonna pick it up in three, two, And a one, let's run it out. Mountain climbers for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Lower those knees down. Let's do a couple cat cows just to release the back a little bit. And 
and then we're going to come to our side next they'll give you another standing option but i'll show you the floor option here first coming on to our right hip right elbow forearm extend the top leg out point through the toe we're going to reach our arm overhead here and then meeting just hand to shin so reach overhead and then pull it in you should feel this in the side body here of the obliques or you could take elbow yes perfect Whew. point through the toe nice long leg here we go three two one last one pop it up find a forearm plank reach that top arm up and under so you could lower the bottom knee down just prop yourself up a little bit reach up reach under five four three press into that forearm that elbow two yes nice teresa gorgeous yes amy yes kathleen and one stay there now we move the hips hips raise lift lower pulse of the hips here we go five four three two and a one release let's flip it over same thing other side come on to your side your elbow forearm bottom knee is bent top leg straight point through the toe let's reach overhead hand to shin oh yeah burns so good a couple more minutes of work here five four point through the toe lengthen through the leg that's part of the work two and a one come on up prop yourself up into a forearm plank we reach high and reach under maybe follow the hands up and down here we go three two and a one hold that forearm plank now we move the hips lift it up lower lift lower lift lower you got it five four three two and a one lower those hips let's do one more here we have one minute to get one more exercise in here we're going to come to boat boat twist so hug the knees in find your balance you might lift the toes Okay, one second when I'm done. All right, hug those knees in. Lift the feet. Let's twist. Center. Twist. Center. You could keep the toes on the floor. Twist. Center. Lift that heart up. Belly in. Twist. Center. So please don't make me wait. Lift the heart. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Take those hands back. Lift the shins. Let's toe tap right here. Tap, tap. This is it. Taking us into our stretch. Tap, tap. Hug the belly in. You could lower back to the fore or elbows. That may make it a little easier, maybe not. <laughs> Here we go, five, four, three. Yes, beautiful, two, and the one. Release, let's straighten those legs out. Sit up nice and tall, take the arms up, inhale. Exhale, let's fold, hold over the legs. Coming into our stretch, I'm going to turn on a little softer music here, or no music. Let's go no. P. 
keep it a little quieter for our stretch. Except Emmett's in the room, so I can't make any promises. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where it is. To find it, or just wait till I'm done. Breathe here, round the back, maybe let the head come forward. This is a great way to cool down these forward folds. Great way to cool the body. Let's take one more full breath. And then come on up out of that fold. We'll bring the right knee into the chest here. To cross the foot over, we're gonna come into a twist. Sit up tall, left arm reaches. Inhale there, exhale twist. You can hug that knee in or maybe hook the elbow to the outside of the thigh. Right hand comes back, rotate and twist. Keep sitting up tall. Gaze and I can come back eventually. Let's take a couple more breaths. So just being <clears throat> aware of the body as we cool down, bring the heart rate down. Notice how we feel after getting some strength in, some movement. And then release that twist, come back to center. And we'll just take it to the other side, left knee in, you can cross that foot over, find some length, reach up, inhale. And exhale, twist, hug that knee or hook elbow. Keep sitting up tall as we twist. Breathe here. One more inhale, one more exhale. And we'll go ahead and release. <clears throat> Let's flip it around. I wanna get, get a good stretch for our, our belly, our core. <clears throat> so come on to our tabletop first and we'll just move cat cow, getting that movement in the spine. And then we will come on to the belly. If the belly isn't comfortable to lay on at this time, you could stay in this position and keep working our cat cow. Otherwise, let's find a flat back neutral position and then we'll make our way down to our forearms and belly. Spread the fingers wide, palms down, and then lift the heart from there. Opening the chest. This is a great stretch for the front of the hips, our hip flexors. So if we tend to sit a lot throughout the day, this is a great one to bring some uh, balance to the body after sitting or driving. Shoulder blades down the back, couple more breaths. And then we'll take it. I always love this one. Let's just come down. If you're on the belly, stack the hands, bring the forehead to the back of the hands. This is crocodile. Just bringing your spine into this neutral place, supported. And then we might bend the knees and let the feet rock side to side. Can be a nice release for the lower back.
And when you're ready, we'll press on up, make our way to child's pose. Knees wide, big toes touch. Reach the sit bones towards the heels or keep the booty lifted. Forehead lowers. Maybe again to the back of the hands. We're reaching towards the mat. We might rock the head a little side to side, massaging our forehead. Can help release any pressure in the sinuses. Emmett loves to climb on me in this one. <laughs> he always seems to find me. Such a good, it's in the jungle gym. Not right now, honey, just a few more minutes, okay? Okay. All right, and we're gonna slowly make our way to our feet. So we, from this child's pose, you may make your way to down dog or tabletop. And that down dog, you could pedal out the feet a few times. Get a little hamstring stretch there. Calf stretch. Oh. And then as you're ready, making your way to your feet. If you're in down dog, you'll walk the feet towards the hands, walk the hands back towards the feet. Come into a forward fold. And then we'll roll on up to standing, let the head come up last. As you're ready, nice and easy. And let's get a couple, we'll get into our side body here standing. So bring the feet apart a bit. We'll start by lifting this right arm up, reach up and over to the left. So option here to take the left hand, give a little tug. Another option is to take this right foot behind, loosen the knees, so bent knees, and then that will just get a little more into the side, the outer hip. One more breath here, and then we'll take it to the other side. Beautiful, release. I'll start by just the left arm up and over. Maybe a little tug. Maybe we take this left foot behind, bend the knees. Oh, perfect. Couple breaths. So we have entered winter again around here. <laughs> We're just near Tahoe, but a little lower elevation. So not as cold, but still pretty blistery. Blistery? Is that the word blustery? I don't know the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Go ahead and take the hands behind to the lower back or interlace the fingers, open the chest. I think blistery is the right word. Lift the gaze, open the chest. We did try to go for a walk yesterday and it was just so cold. So we'll get to warm weather again, to walk weather. It's just the wind that cuts through. One more breath. And release. And we have time to get one more stretch for our legs. So take this right foot in, find our quad stretch. We may reach with both hands. That'll give us more of the chest opening. Reach the hips a little forward as we lift the heart. And release other side, left heel in. Ah, happy Thursday, everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your week and weekend. Happy Easter. Let's do one more breath here. And release. All right, two big breaths together and I'll send you on your way. Inhale those arms. Exhale, release. Just sealing it all together here. One more, inhale. And exhale. 
Ah, thanks, friends. Thanks for coming. Sorry about the music. That was a really good class. Oh, yay. Good. Thanks, Valerie. Yeah, really good. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye. Bye, Val. Thanks, Dana, for keeping me on track. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Bye, friends.